It's time for Dirt Daily. Today, we are going to put a basket in the back of my Jeep. This is the Ultimate Summer Camp Jeep. This is a Jeep that we built for Ultimate Adventure in 2015, which is basically a week-long off-roading trip where you have to take your trail rig and haul all of your camping gear, all your tools, all your spare parts, and go four-wheeling for a week in a different place every year. Uh, and even though I really like the layout of this Jeep, it's about 110 inch wheelbase. It has room for this A or B fridge freezer and then a uh, 40 inch spare tire in the back. Uh, it kind of gets difficult to tie down stuff and securely haul other things. Like I need to haul tools, I need to haul spare parts, um, I need to haul camping gear, uh, whatever, food, stuff that doesn't go in the fridge. All of this stuff needs to be in the back and secure because you can go four wheeling every day of the Ultimate Adventure. It's not like one day you're four wheel and the next day is a road day. Even though it used to be laid out like that, nowadays we seem to end up on a trail every single day. So I wanted something to go in between the fridge and the roll cage, which is about 20 inches depth and about 48 inches wide. And the company that I built this Jeep with, uh, Synergy Manufacturing, they used to make something called a Baja basket, which is kind of like a rooftop basket that you would mount off of your roll cage, but they no longer make it and they never made one that size. So I started looking around and I found a solution. This is just about the perfect cargo basket for summer camp Jeep. Uh, and what this is, is actually a trailer hitch basket for a little car. Uh, it's about, well, I wanted 20 inches by 48 inches. The ad for this said it would be 20 inches deep by 48 inches wide. However, it's actually a little bit more than that because those are the dimensions of the inside of the basket. Um, and it measures about six inches tall. It's perfect. I can put stuff in it. Like one of the things I use, is this tote and this is a tote from a company called Dometic and it'll fit right in the corner uh, it's it has round edges that match the edge of the carrying basket however I need a way to mount it in there because this is designed to use like a little receiver hitch and it would mount right here and slide into the receiver hitch of a little car say you bought yourself a Honda Civic, and then you realized, hey, I need more room because I bought myself a Honda Civic, you'd buy this thing. So I ordered it up, uh, kind of put it together without the hitch part, and I laid it up in there, and it's just about perfect. Um, I mean, it is perfect. But what I need to do is put some legs on the end and figure out a way to mount it because I want it to be sitting up just an inch or two off of that spare tire so that I can stuff things under it on top of the spare tire, things like a recovery rope, maybe stuff I'm not gonna need every day, but things that I want in there and secure, maybe like a camping chair or something like that. But then on top of this, have the ability to tie down tools or have camping gear or whatever else in there. And I want the basket to be pretty easily removable. Uh, I don't want it to have some really trick lock in place system. Um, if it's just four bolts, that's no problem. If it's like something I need a custom tool to remove it, that's a problem. And the reason I want it semi removable is because the tire is still going to be buried down underneath it. So hopefully I don't need the spare tire, but if I need the spare tire, I need to be able to get the basket out of the way and get the spare tire out. So uh, we are going to try and figure out how to make this thing fit in the Jeep. This is how it's going to sit. I can still get access to the fridge to get food and drinks out of there. Um, and I just want to come up with a way to mount it to the fenders. Probably going to need to drill some more holes in my Jeep. I'm not a big fan of drilling extra holes, but I think to have a secure basket, uh, it's going to be kind of a requirement at this point is to drill some holes in it. So, and I also wanted to sit up a little bit higher right now. 
Uh, if I grab a tape measure, right now the top of this is about seven and a half inches. I think if we bring it up to about eight inches, it will clear the tire, but it won't be uh, so tall that stuff is like blocking my rear view mirror. And then I can have lots of places. This has like an expanded metal bottom and it has all these loops in it. So there's lots of places to tie down ratchet straps or bungee cord things into place. So uh, I think our first step is to build some little eight inch legs to space it up. Also, it's all bolted together from side to side. I think I'm actually gonna come in and weld these seams in the middle that I bolted together and make sure that it's super secure. Come on, Mr. Basket. This basket is actually from Reese brand, which is like the trailer hitch company. Um, and it's not, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Um, it's not super heavy duty, kind of lightweight tubing, which is fine. I don't really wanna add a whole bunch of weight just to haul other stuff. But um, I'm gonna go through, it's got some sharp edges here where you would never be near that if it was being used like a normal hitch basket. But because it's gonna be in the Jeep, I wanna round off all of those edges. I'm also gonna grind off some of the powder coat so that I can weld some little legs onto it. Cut some little square legs. These are just 5 8 rectangle or square tubing, about eight inches long. I'm gonna weld these onto the ends of the basket so that it holds it up a little bit. Um, and then once I have those all welded on, then I can come up with some sort of little foot or little tab off the bottom and that will be where a bolt will go through and it will bolt to the fender. Tack these four little legs on. Now we'll set it up in there and see if our height is right. And then if it is, we will weld them in and come up with some little feet tabs that we can bolt right to the fenders. Perfect. Ah. That's going to be perfect. 
That's going to be perfect. It's going to sit right up in there. And bolt right to the fenders. Um, fridge still opens. And we can still slide some stuff in up underneath there. Um, all right, let's find some tabs. Where those four feet come down, I need a way to attach that to the fender of the Jeep. Uh, I was gonna use these little tabs, but they're like quarter inch thick uh, and probably overkill for what I wanna do. So I just grabbed a piece of plate, drilled two holes in it, and then the feet will come down on either side of those holes. Uh, one of these at either end, and then that will just bolt right to the fender. Probably still overkill, but it's what I had handy. And I think if I could have found like some small eighth inch tabs handy, I probably would have grabbed those, but instead I'm gonna use this little plate. Welded some feet panels on. I'm gonna let that cool, and then I will set it up in there. Mark the holes to drill in the fenders. Give this thing a nice coat of spray paint. Uh, the basket is steel. The Jeep is, the tub is aluminum. So I may lay like a strip of rubber between this or some like rubber washers or nylon washers in between where the bolts go through. Just to kind of, I don't really think it's gonna do anything in the time but over time, steel and aluminum uh, don't jive together. So it's coming together. It's gonna be a good little basket. Moment of truth. I set it up in here and marked some holes. Drilling holes in my Jeep again. I think it's pretty cool. Simple. This thing's rated for like 300 pounds. Once it's bolted down, uh, nice and solid. Place to lash stuff down. Still be able to put stuff in there. You can even put more coolers in. You could have probably three coolers in this Jeep if you wanted to. All right, uh, I'm gonna drag this thing out, give it a spray paint, and uh, I think this project is done. That's it for this Dirt Daily. Thanks for tuning in. If you're looking for a basket, for your Jeep, go look online for a hitch basket. They seem to work out pretty good. This one I ordered off of Amazon. I think you can also get them at like used ones all the time. People sell them dirt cheap. I just had to get one this specific size. So that's it. We'll see you guys next time. It's time for a quick recap. I'm already back from Ultimate Adventure and the basket worked awesome. I went and bought a second Dometic box so that one would fit in either corner. You really have to like wedge it to get it down in there, but once it's in there, it's pretty well secure. This one weighs a ton because it has all the tools in it. So between having this on the driver's side and my fat butt on the driver's side, um, the Jeep has a little bit of a lean. And so I think it's going to be moved over to this side for the next trail ride. Uh, I have a bunch of ratchet straps. One thing I think I want to do is put either some eye bolts or some easier loops to hook ratchet straps to. Uh, I found that when the, the medic case is stuffed up against the side, it's hard to get the ratchet strap around it. Uh, so that if I want to tie down camping gear, sleeping bags, tents, and all that stuff, which kind of got piled up on top here. I did pretty good. I had the fridge in here, tools there, um, a duffel bag here. I could pack a duffel bag on either side and still have a good line of sight from the rear view mirror up front. So overall, I'm pretty stoked on the basket. I did not have to change a tire. The mile stars worked great on Ultimate Adventure and no punctures. So I didn't have to dig all of this stuff out, which I'm grateful for because that would have been a pain in the neck. So uh, Jeep is getting torn down, all the stuff taken out, cleaned up, and hopefully it will be ready for the next trail ride. 
after a little bit of work. So pretty stoked on old summer camp Jeep, pretty stoked on my little basket.